Matt Tybee is a man of the left, but in a recent column he correctly described what the left really is, a religion. He says that we are in a religious war where political narrative replaces faith and truth becomes heresy. I agree with much of his analysis, and I would also like to point out where I think he is mistaken. Tybee argues that today we have two religions, the religion of the left and the religion of the church. With regard to left-wing religion, Tybee gives a couple of examples. First, he writes about the report that Border Patrol agents were rounding up refugees using whips. It turns out they were not. People watching the video had mistaken the loose reins on the horses as whips. When it became clear they were mistaken, politicians in the press went on as though the story was true. Vice President Harris said the images evoked memories of slavery. Representative Maxine Waters said the pictures were worse than what we witnessed in slavery. President Biden himself promised his own agents would pay for strapping refugees. Even the New York Times, five days after the photograph was taken, reported that border agents were in some cases using reins to strike at running migrants. None of this was true. The second example Tybee gives is the coverage of a new book, arguing that the Hunter Biden stories in the fall of 2020 were authentic, even though the mainstream press called them Russian disinformation. Turns out they were true, but the mainstream media has largely ignored the book. Tybee chastises the media for becoming an oppressive bummer. He says the press business has taken on characteristics of that other institution where talking, joking, and thinking aren't allowed. Church. Tybee has made three serious miscalculations in comparing the media to church, and I want to come back to them in a moment. But one thing he is certainly right about, the left-wing progressives and their media are a religion and a really bad one. Quote, as church-raised boomers stopped going to Mass, they spent more and more time fixated on the news." End quote. Tybee is arguing that for modern left-wing progressive, the news is their religion. In an earlier video, I have argued the exact same thing. The left, the progressives, the Marxists must be understood as a religion or you will not understand them at all. I'm glad to see Matt Tybee has come around to that conclusion himself. Tybee says the media has become exactly like churches. They sell belief instead of facts. Quote, the news has become a series of gospels that get told and retold for the faithful who respond accordingly. Questioning gospels, however, is heresy. So mainstream reporters in particular avoided taking second looks at universally accepted initial texts. This phenomenon is why we seldom saw skeptical responses to questionable themes and big stories. Every time I turn on the TV now, I want to jump off a cliff. I went into journalism precisely because at the time, it was one of the only professions to encourage actively godless people to apply. Now, after three decades, it turns into this? Matt is right. The media has a narrative, a worldview, and they are evangelistic. They want to persuade people to believe them. And they feel perfectly free in lying to you in order to advance that narrative. So yes, the news media is a religious cult and a lousy one. But I find three problems with Matt's analysis. First, churches, like Matt Tybee, believe truth is objective. We share that cultural value it comes from Christianity's belief that there is a God who is there. I am a Protestant evangelical Christian. I believe truth is objective. I believe it is out there, independent of my opinion. I believe new facts can be discovered and my views corrected. We even believe this is true to a significant extent in theology. In John 14, 11, Jesus says, Believe me that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me. Or else believe on account of the works themselves. In other words, if you don't take my word for it, look at the evidence. Christianity is not like the left in its treatment of truth. 
It agrees with Matt Tybee. Second, churches admit their doctrinal position. It is printed on every church website. It is in every church constitution. We are different from the progressive left. We do not lie about our religion. We do not lie about what we believe. We do not lie that we are a religion. It is characteristic of many cults to mislead people about what they really believe. And the left-wing cult does this. Third, the biggest fact, as always, is doctrinal. The left holds a different view of human nature. Leftists view men and women as basically good, but basically stupid. They cannot be given the facts and allowed to decide for themselves. They might do something foolish like voting the wrong way. So the left-wing elite believe in controlling the flow of information in social media, in entertainment, in universities, in every educational institution. They intend to control how you think and vote and act because you cannot be allowed to do that for yourself. They perceive themselves as vastly superior to the rest of us and they have to make our decisions for us. They come to this conclusion because of their theology of human nature. I'm a Christian. I believe in sharing the gospel with everyone. People can make up their own minds after being given the factual information of Christianity and decide for themselves. Matt Tybee is an excellent journalist, and I subscribe to him on Substack, linked below. He is right about the progressive left, but mistaken about Christianity. He is committed to the truth because of his Christian cultural heritage. Matt, I would invite you to consider more seriously the basis of Christianity, the person of Jesus Christ. Thank you for watching. Please check the resources below. May our God bless you this day in a mighty way.